right, just wanted to show you guys what I've been up to working on this log splitter here. It's an 8x8 inch I-beam. 3 8 thick. I was only planning on a 6x6, but they didn't have one, so step up a size and go with the 8x8. Push box pretty much done. Getting there. Just gotta cut out some gussets. Get those attached to a cylinder. I'll chop down the front plate on this push block. It doesn't need to be that high. And the uh, got the frame done. Stole the tires off an old auger we had. Wasn't being used anymore. The uh, axle slash hydraulic tanks made out of 4x6 rectangular tubing. It's the engine mount right there. That'll be the suction line. Over here is the Honda engine with the two stage pump. It'll be, I think it's 16, 16 gallons per minute. It's a 270cc Honda. I think it's 8 or 9 horsepower. So we got the rear rear of the cylinder mounted uh, down here we got this I'm gonna put a secondary hydraulic tank on there get that mounted up here on the back so in total it should be right around 10 gallons and still gotta get the end plates welded on the tube here that bottom one's gonna be the drain for whenever our Whenever I want to change the oil on it, still got to get this cut out and welded on. That'll be the equalizing line for that secondary tank and this main tank here. So we're getting there. Still got a ways to go. The mighty wedge showed up here last week, so once I get this push block finalized, get it hooked onto the cylinder and get the cylinder extended and then I can figure out where to weld that thing on and as you can see over there I got the the newly installed stove rocking right along so that is uh, one of the main reasons I wanted to build one of these this year was just to make chopping wood a whole lot easier so yeah I guess we'll uh, keep rocking tonight and see what we can get done and maybe throw up another video sometime with an update